So this here is the price of gold. I'm gonna to try to zoom this out and show you as much data as I can. That's the price of gold over the past 30 years. Kind of looks insane. If you kind of look at it over the past 10 years, you might be able to see how this thing is trending and now starting to go parabolic. Let me try to make this chart as big as possible for you guys. I think there's some serious similarities here between uh, the price of gold in US dollars and the German mark price in gold in the 1920s. If you were to point on a chart and ask me where I think we are, I think we're at like 1921 here. 1921, 1922. Now I'm not, now again, the German mark hyperinflated the next year. Now again, if you were to assume this is a fractal, this isn't a one to one fractal. It looks as if every one year for the German mark, if you put this on a chart compared to where gold is today, it's about three years. That's how much the fractal is lagging. So what I'm saying is I think by 2030, it's all over. What does that look like? I think you're gonna to continue to see currencies like the uh, Argentinian peso, the Turkish lira. All of these currencies are gonna continue doing what they're doing, melting, and they're going to continue to melt in an exponential fashion. This is of course, why things like gold and Bitcoin are such great solutions and options for you guys to get your hands on. If you think even, even this scenario is a 2% possibility, getting your hands on some money that won't hyperinflate and can't be debased, can't be manipulated, can't be traced, can't be taxed, I think this is a great idea.